live from VidCon, just at the YouTube pavilion right now. It's the, the whole shorts pavilion, which is cool because I do work for YouTube. Hilton bathroom. Okay, so this is my first get ready with me. I look for it since I've never been, and I and I have one day at VidCon, which is today. So I'm trying to get in early and then stay until the last talks at 6 p.m. and then make the most of the day. For my lunch, friends. <laughs> lunch was good. Yeah, lunch was good, and conversation was good. Everything was good. Uh, your quick take on VidCon. Uh, definitely, we just started, so we are just getting the lay of the land. Um, they have this whole drive through concept, which I can show you. That is the Mr. Beast thingy, I honestly... Don't have the time to wait in line for that, but yeah, look at these golf carts. And they're all decorated differently. Um, but yeah. Oh, there another one goes. Um so the way it works is you go through this thingy and Kind of like a McDonald's drive through except it's all short themed and they give you these snacks that you can order. Oh, mascara is definitely running. Woo! That's what you look like after a day of doing VidCon. Um, yes, yeah, so get these snacks, get these trading cards, and thankfully this watermelon shake, which is really sweet. Don't even think I like it that much. Uh, but it's so good to not have something cold because it is really freaking hot in Anaheim right now. I don't know how all the Disneyland people are doing this because it's crazy. Mm. But yeah, get these bags. I think they did a good job. It was cool because I guess I saw the, the deck internally of the concept and it's even bigger than I realized it would be. You know, they took over this entire parking lot and they own the whole thing. So it's this really big YouTube short space. Um, yeah, so I think we're gonna go walk around, show you more VidCon. I'm gonna put the stuff away. And then we are gonna check out the different areas and talk about how my day's been. Oh, how cute. All right, getting ready to move. I don't know why I'm saving this bag. It's not that important. All right, on the move. More. All right. The Mr. Beast. Honestly, do not understand what is happening in this thing. There are a lot of people waiting for it. And it's by Mr. Beast. Oh! <laughs> 
Yep, go to scan. Woo. Damn. But yeah, I met this real creator. Her name's Kathy. She does Kathy does skincare. And then later I saw her getting interviewed by the VidCon people because again, she's a real creator. And they had the whole TV set up and the boom. And I was like, that's my new friend. The other person who was stuck outside VidCon and couldn't get in. All right, air conditioning. Woo! Let's go. You can really tell that YouTube bought out a lot of advertising here. Yeah. I thought it did, they did a good job. I just feel like it's a little sad because the YouTube booth area was outside the main area so you kind of have to leave and then go back in so I wasn't sure if they lost people because of that but check it out okay you're from turbo button right excuse me oh no were you with turbo button for a while okay this is the main area this shit is nuts. I mean, do you see how much stuff there is? It's hard to even know what's going on. Ooh, flamingos. Oh, thank you possibly more of VidCon. So I showed up at 10.30, it is now 7.15. I've been doing this for hours. Um, yeah, I just put in the order for my pizza that is coming to this hotel and I'm just gonna talk to you until my pizza arrives. Um, yeah, so first impressions. I would say that this was a lot of fun. Uh, I can't believe I got set for work. I guess this lighting is also kind of funny. So maybe we're gonna turn this off so I look less bad. <laughs> you can probably tell how sweaty I've been. Um, yeah, so I think just first impressions, it's just unlike any other conference that I've been to, it's just weird to think that this is a professional thing. And I think part of what makes it so cool also makes it so exhausting because it's just overstimulation on every sense of the word. Like every single booth, it's just confetti and color. And um, I mean, just look at the amount of stuff on my wrists. Um, and so, I think it was a really unique experience in that sense. I've been to other conferences, like I went to the Unicode conference and that is very dry and very technical. And, and this is kind of a whole circus <laughs> of things. Um, and yeah, I think, I think it was really cool. I'm glad I got to go. So wanted to talk through some of my highs, lows and haws of the day. Uh, just high moments, low moments, funny moments, things that I didn't expect. Uh, so I would say high moment <laughs> would be the fact that multiple people actually thought I was a content creator. I think it's because of this outfit. I really committed to it. Um, and I didn't even commit all the way because actually I'll show you the outfit. Um, originally I had a matching set. There was supposed to be a matching skirt because Gen Z is really into maximalist colors and matching sets. And I was told by my sister that I look like a sexy Grinch. And I was like, well, I can't go to a work event looking like a sexy Grinch. Nobody's gonna take me seriously, but I also wanna fit in with Gen Z and fit in with the youth. <laughs> so I got these pigtails and the center part. I don't even like wearing my hair in a center part. My face isn't that symmetrical. I don't look that good <laughs> in a center part, but I did it for the Gen Z thing. And it was awesome because it was one random person and then two work people that were like, I thought you were a creator. I straight up didn't recognize you. And so I felt very validated. I was like, maybe I'm fitting in, it's working. Um, so yeah, definitely a high that multiple people looked at my outfit and said, yes, you look like you make content. Um, Cause I was eating lunch by myself and the people next to me turned to me and they were like, so what kind of content do you create? Uh, and I was like, I create content for my 93 subscribers. I'm not going anywhere big. <laughs> um, maybe one day, but definitely met some other people who were like, and my lawyer and my agent. And I was like, we're not on the same level of creating right now. 
Um, so that was a high. I would say some of the lows were, we did a test stream at work today um, because I work on live streaming and on YouTube and it's a new feature that we're gonna roll out and I wanted to test it in a place where you have really congested networks and, and you know limited bandwidth. Um, and it totally crapped out. Like it was not good. <laughs> it was a very kind of stressful situation. It was supposed to be fun and I wanted to show my team VidCon and it was supposed to be great. And then we just realized that we have a lot of problems that we need to figure out, especially since we're trying to roll this thing out in three weeks. So it's not a good place to be, but we're, we're working on it. And so there was a part of my day where I was sitting in a corner of VidCon trying to file all these bugs. Uh, cause we, it was just failing in so many different ways and we thought we were pretty close and and maybe we're not and that's okay but you know yeah not the test we're hoping um other lows from today i don't know i guess i was very disorganized or i didn't read the fine print but they almost didn't let me in like i i couldn't figure out how to get into vidcon they were sending me to a bunch of different places and i could see it through the gate and i was like please just let me in um, and then I finally am trekking all the way around, which is a very long walk because this convention center is really large. Um, and then they're telling all these people that if you have bags that are bigger than 12 by 12, they're not going to let you in. And I had brought this bag over here, also trying to be Gen Z. I actually got another compliment on this bag too. Very pleased. <laughs> they say you shouldn't need external validation for things, but the fact that People thought my millennial self was blending in properly with Gen Z it was very exciting. But yeah, so, um, yeah, so my pizza delivery <laughs> is arriving to this hotel and I will go nom a bunch of pizza now and yeah, I guess just decompress from VidCon life.